Hi there, so in this video we are going to take a look at functions or subroutines in Perl programming language. So make sure that you have Perl installed on your operating system. You can go through respective installation process for your operating system. And to run the code, you can install some IDE or even a notepad would do. Okay, in my case I'm using Visual Studio Code and I have created this sample.pl file inside which I'm going to write the code. Now, the first thing is creating a simple function or simple subroutine. So let's say we make use of keyword sub for defining our subroutine. Now, let's name our function or subroutine as sample okay then we use curly bracket and inside this we will have our code now here i'm going to print devnami youtube okay so this will be printed every time we are going to call this subroutine now to call subroutine simply use name of that subroutine and then these brackets and that's it semicolon now every time you call your subroutine it will print the message inside it okay you can check this out so open terminal then navigate to the directory where you have this file stored then type in Perl, then space, then sample.pl. And as you can see, it shows you the statement that I added within the subroutine. Okay, now there is one more type of subroutine that you may want to learn how to use and create. Now here, you can send some parameters through your function and you process those parameters inside your function. So let's say I pass on number two and number five and I want multiplication or addition of these. Now to accept those parameters, what we do is we simply make use of dollar sign then underscore and then we use square brackets and use zero as first parameter variable then you can use plus symbol for addition or you can use let's say minus symbol subtraction or even star operator for multiplication I'm going to do the addition just for, just for the sake of simplicity then use dollar sign then underscore and within square bracket use one now end this with semicolon and what you will have is when you call this function it will print out seven as output okay so let's try to find out how that works Okay. So simply type in Perl, then sample dot pl, and here you see seven value is returned. So what we have seen so far is creating subroutine or function that doesn't take parameters and how to call that. Then also we check how to create parameterized subroutine or function and how to call that and how to access parameterized elements within your function or subroutine so this was a short demo on how to use function or subroutine in Perl programming language